This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus and Walking Dead Season 6, Episode 15. Moving into the stretch run and this episode, yeah, you know, I'm going to need them to stop to like trying to come up with these unexpected ending, endings and also putting these scenarios out there that have people like going crazy. Now me, myself, I'm not going crazy because, you know, they already didn't catch me with the first time they did this and, you know, it would be interesting if they quote unquote catch me with this one. Um, it would be messed up, like quite fucked up if they catch me with this one. But I'm I'm not buying it, at least not right now. Um, I don't think that was like the big moment. But anyway, let's just go over the show really quickly. So we see Carol's um transition from uh being this like crazy badass don't give a fuck will murder whoever whenever however when I need to person to someone who just doesn't like want to be a killer anymore so she flipped out left that letter and you got to see like you know the lead up to her leading like and when she left and all that she actually you know, like you know hit dude off before she left so that was kind of her um but you know, she geared up, snuck out, went about her way. So, everybody found out. And, of course, Daryl, um, you see uh, Daryl get his shit together and goes to leave. Um, but it wasn't for Carol, like uh, I guess I thought and probably other people thought. Um, he was followed by Rosita and Glenn. And you also see Michonne. Um, no, it was Michonne and Glenn that went together. They were going uh, to chase uh, Rosita and Daryl. Um, well, oh, damn it. Why did Michonne, Rosita, and Glenn went after Daryl? Rick and Morgan went after Carol. That's it. All right, we got it together, people. It's midnight. Sorry. Um, I shouldn't be recording at this time. Anyway, so... You know, major players of the group have gone all over the place, split up, looking for major players of the group, which is crazy. Especially at a critical time where they just fuck with the saviors, and of course the saviors are going to be looking for revenge. And sure enough, Carol runs into a group of saviors, um, and it's like four or five of them in a the truck, and they, like, fuck up her car. And she's on the side of the road, and they, like, tell her to get out and all that. And, you know, she's acting scared and all that, and they just, like, you know not really taking it serious and she's just like please you know don't hurt me let's just not do this i don't you know and they're just like whatever and she's like please it don't have to be like this and all that and it's just like whatever and then she lets loose from her uh, coat pocket like for someone who doesn't want to murder she has really really no hesitation to murder when she needs to still um at least now She's like, you know, she's willing to talk before she reacts. So that's a plus. <laughs> um, but if she takes them all out and everything, um, just with crazy, just craziness. Um, how she did it. Uh, she was mad effective, mad effective, and taking them out. Um, and later on in the episode, Rick and Morgan run into the scene and they don't see Carol, but they see a blood trail into the like woods. So they follow her. Little, little do they know there's a savior who is actually still alive who follows them. So, I feel like he's going to play a pivotal part in someone getting off next episode. Um, for some, That's just my feeling. Meanwhile, Glenn gets... Glenn, Michonne, and Rosita finally track down um, Daryl. And now that I remember, Rosita went with them because she said she knows... Where Daryl was going. And he went back to where. Uh, that girl Denise died. And all that. So he could track down Dwight. And this voice. And you know they were trying to like get him. 
to see reason and be like, dude, come on, you don't need to do this. He's just like, I need to do this. And then Rosita's like, yeah, I need to do this too with him. And it was like, Michonne and Glenn's like, what the fuck, yo? So they just like, you know, we can't keep chasing him because it's like Glenn, he's just so hell, but he was just like, I should have killed him. I had a chance to kill him. I should have killed him. If I would have killed him, she wouldn't have been dead. You know, that was his whole I'm thinking. Just guilt written. And it's just like, dude, you don't know. It's like, you could have killed him and it could have been someone else with your crossbow. You know what I mean? It's, it, life works out in mysterious ways. Just don't do that. But he's just beating himself up and all that. It's like, wow. Flashback to Morgan and Rick and um, you know, they're getting close to the Carol's Trail and they fight off some zombies. They run into some dude who was fighting them and he runs off and Rick was going to kill him. But Morgan stops him and he was like, yo, what the fuck, Morgan? And Morgan decides to finally tell Rick the story about how he had the uh, wolf tied up and Carol found out and they got into a fight and dude got loose. And when dude got loose, he took Denise hostage. But when they got, when Denise and dude got swarmed, dude sacrificed himself so Denise could survive. And at that moment when they did that, that's when Denise got to the room and was able to save Carl. So, you know, he was just like, basically, if that didn't happen, Carl might not live. It's like everything has a circle. Everything comes back. You know, all life has a meaning. You can't just like, he's, you know, preaching his. You get, all life has a meaning thing and Rick you know he was moved by that and he was just like okay so Morgan told him Rick stop risking yourself go back home because Rick had said and it's, I love how he told Rick to stop risking himself because Rick you know while they were looking for Carol you know and when he shot at dude he was like I don't take chances anymore but lo and behold here you are taking a chance for somebody you care about so you do take chances it's just certain chances that you seem not to be willing to take, which is trust other people, which is bad. You don't, you know, it's just like, it, it, it's understandable not to trust other people, uh, but I guess Morgan's thing is that you can't just, you know, give them the opportunity to, like, make you have to. Don't just do it because I don't trust them, and boom. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> I thought that was really, really cool. But then going back to the Daryl situation. So, Michonne and Glenn are trying to leave and they get caught. Um, they get caught by Dwight. Uh, so, Glenn tries to sneak up on him. And, I mean, not Glenn. Daryl tries to sneak up on him. And Glenn sees Daryl. It's like, no, go back. But then Dwight sneaks up behind Daryl. And he was like, hey, you know. Then all of a sudden, the show ends with a blood splatter all over the place and a gunshot. And you hear Dwight saying, you'll be okay. Um, so, it's like, what the fuck does that mean? Does this mean that Daryl got shot in the back of the head? Could it mean Rosita got shot? Um, we don't know what happened. because They set it up so it looked like Daryl got off. So, the internet is going to go crazy. All the ladies are going to scream bloody murder. Um, dudes who were a fan of the character, uh, what the fuck, and all that. Me personally, I'm just like, okay, so how are they going to make Daryl survive? Because I don't believe he's dead, at least not yet, or at least not in that fashion, because that's kind of a ho-hum way to take out such a big character like that, in my opinion. Um, I would have at least given him a more ceremonious death, um, if it were me, if he is de in fact dead. Um, and ESPN, what the fuck are you doing going off? Uh, anyway. And, you know, it's just like, too, it's like, <sighs> come on, guys. It's, I think we're all expecting a death. We're just not sure who. Um, but to do it in that manner, <clears throat> um, or to at least set it up again, the same way you set up the Glenn thing, where he had, like, the body fall on him and the zombies ripping dude apart but you thought it was them ripping Glenn apart yeah it's like you you've gone to that well too many times and there's been certain things in this season that they've gone to the well um 
a couple of times too many probably uh but hey it's setting up for an interesting show hopefully we get to see negan uh i would love to see negan please please negan um and we'll probably get a death or two or three who knows what's gonna happen but it'll be interesting to see how they're gonna end this season and set it up to steamroll into the big war between the saviors and alexandria and hilltop um but anyway as always you guys hit me up let me know what you think and i'll holler at you later this your boy black makers and i'm out this is